Good evening. Thank you for being here. If the true measure of a person is the legacy they leave behind, then Alex Campbell truly was a remarkable man. And wherever you went on Vancouver Island today, you heard people talking about that. Alex Campbell died in Victoria yesterday at the age of 70. He was the co-founder of Thrifty Foods, and he donated millions of dollars and hours to the community. Now the man who built an empire is being remembered and honored for his contributions to the marketplace and to everyday Vancouver Islanders. CTV's Louise Hartland now on the philanthropist who's a homegrown hero. Alex Campbell was a quiet hero, the kind of man who sat in the background while making magic happen. He was a giver. Uh, he gave um, millions and millions of dollars um, to others because he remembered when uh, he didn't have much himself. The co-founder of Thrifty Foods had humble beginnings, bagging groceries at age 15 before opening the first of many stores in Fairfield in 1977. Above the mark he has left as a business person, Campbell will be remembered as a father, grandfather and a philanthropist. He chaired the Inspire the World campaign at the BC Cancer Foundation, raising more than $10 million to expand and improve the BC Cancer Agency. He had a tremendous heart, tremendous heart. Campbell was honorary chair of the Victoria Hospitals Foundation when it took on its first capital campaign. The generosity continued. The family and Thrifty Foods together have given over $2 million to us and that's helped everything from a new maternity ward to neural equipment, hospital beds, IV pumps and poles, all sorts of things. Melanie McKenzie has fond memories of the man she calls a father figure and a friend. Every once in a while you get to meet someone or work with someone who makes you want to be a better person and who is that voice of truth when you're not sure what the right decision is and for me Alex's voice is always going to be one of those. <laughs> From the ground level, Campbell has funded many community projects, including a state-of-the-art field at the Pacific Institute for Sports Excellence. There's a picture of uh, Leslie and I, Alex. It seems every person who knew Campbell learned from him. He, he was such a leader, that, uh, and he did it in such a, a nice way. And, and he always had time for people, no matter who you were. And uh, he had qualities that, that uh, I would love to emulate. Other people stepped up to do the same thing because he led the way, right? He showed people how it can be done, how it should be done. That's the way he believed it should happen, and it did. He was just, he was, he was a great man. About my kids. Never Through all of his giving, one of his greatest qualities was his humble nature. He never sought the spotlight or credit. Campbell gave thanklessly. I confer upon you, Alex Campbell. He received many awards for his community service, including the 2011 honors, Leadership Cossack. Victoria Award, an honorary doctorate of laws from UVic, and the Order of BC. It just makes me feel uh, very proud and and humble. The really significant people in our lives, um, we need to remember them every day because we don't know how long we're going to have them. And I think that's the immediate legacy for him. Perhaps Campbell's greatest legacy is yet to come. Louise Hartland, CTV News, Victoria.